What's going on guys? Welcome back. Today is a beautiful day. Uh, hope everybody's having a great day today. I know I am. Uh, I'm getting out in the woods again, trying out a different farm. I had mentioned to you guys recently that there were two other properties that I wanted to do some shed hunting on quick before it got thick. And this is one of those properties. It's a smaller piece. It's about 90 acres and mostly wooded. There is a little bit of field in the front of it towards the road, some corn and beans. So I'm going to check around that and then I'll get back in the woods and see if I can find something in the timber. The terrain lays out differently than the farms I've been hunting. This is a pretty much a flat piece of property. There's not much undulation to it and it's got some lower swampy stuff. So I'll likely get some wet feet today. Yeah, I'm kind of excited. I haven't done much shed hunting here before. This is a property I've hunted for the past 15 plus years. Also, one thing you'll notice is uh, right behind me here, this piece of equipment, this you'll likely be seeing in an upcoming uh, video once the uh, weight restrictions come off the road, we're gonna be putting this thing to work. But uh, I'll save that for another video. But anyhow, come on with me. Let's uh, go back in there and see what we can find. I'm kind of excited about it. Catch up with you in a minute. So I'm just getting started here. Kind of the place I'm looking is what I think could be a decent spot. There's picked corn behind me, also picked beans, and then there's some standing corn and beans on the end that we kind of leave for the, for the deer. But where I'm at right now is right along the north side of this field is some thick, or not thick, but some grass, you know, some tag alders, there's some swampy stuff in between here in the cornfield. I'm just kind of cruising through this grass since I've been finding most of my sheds on the other properties in the grass next to the corn and stuff. I figured this is a good place to start. So I'm just kind of walking through this real quick. There's not a lot of it, so it's pretty easy to cover. It does get a lot thicker up here. Um, there's, I'll kind of spin you around. There's a, it's kind of grown up more, but I figured this is a good place to get started anyways. So I'm gonna keep walking through this and then I'm gonna head back into the timber. And then I'm guessing on the way back out, I'll probably walk the other side of the field. There's some more spots just like this, kind of too wet and to farm along the edge. So I'll, I'll walk that as well. I would think they'd be a good spot for the deer to kind of bed down or at least stage up before they get into the into the food. Yeah, we'll keep, uh, keep on going. Like I said, beautiful day. It's probably, I think it's supposed to be about 60 degrees, which is awesome, nice and sunny, which for shed hunting, eh, okay. And st since I still don't have a new pair of glasses, the sun doesn't really work well for me, but, but it is nice to get some sun and get out. So I can't complain at all, but stick with me. We're gonna keep on looking. One thing I am finding already are some pretty good rubs. It seems like for whatever reason, they like these alders. Um, they're maybe just cause they're the right size. But yeah, that's a pretty good rub there. Kind of on the edge of the cornfield I see another nice one over here typically this gets gets rubbed up pretty hard in here um i don't know if, like i said it's just a kind of a convenient spot for him to hit here's another one i'm sure if i continue to walk down through these i'd probably find more rubs this looks like a pretty good one here caught that tree and this one definitely a decent buck but or a rack anyway yeah i'm gonna keep on keep working down through this stuff i am not seeing a ton of sign right now but you know maybe i'm just kind of spoiled with the property i've been doing most of my shed hunting on just seems like the deer numbers are really high there and here they're probably you know more average yeah that's good to see some rubs like that it makes me think that you know there's definitely some buck activity here and potentially find a shed i'm hoping for a, a nice surprise today i'd be i'd be happy to find something that i you know, some big old antler laying. I always think I can find that stuff though every time I go out, which is probably the reason I keep going. I like thinking positive. But yeah, we're gonna keep on moving. Before I get back in the woods, I'm gonna just walk through this standing corn. There's just a little bit of standing corn and, and there were some beans. Uh, you can see a, a stand over there. Uh, there were some beans too. They just get pounded pretty hard and, and demolished. And I think the same with the corn. It doesn't look like there's much in here. Nonetheless, I'm going to take a quick look through it. There's really not much to look over. Never know though, they could have been in here picking around. So I'm going to see what I can find. Then I'm heading back into the woods. I'll see what I can find back there. Just wanted to show you guys what I'm, what I'm traveling through here. Um, I had mentioned this property's wet. It's typically 
you know, decently wet in here. It's kind of low in areas. And it's especially wet now being the spring and the thaw just happened. So there's a lot of standing water. I'm just kind of right now trying to find some spots where it looks like there's a decent amount of deer sign, some trails and stuff. I know there's some going through here. I can kind of see and I was kind of following one in. So I'm gonna kind of continue to try to do that and at least narrow down a spot where it looks like there's a good amount of deer sign. Then I'll kind of take it from there and maybe fan out and, and keep looking for antlers. But I'm just trying to get a, get a feel as to where everything is right now as far as deer travel. The other thing is I should have rubber boots on, I know that. I do have waterproof hikers. They seem to be doing okay. I'm trying to stay out of the most of it. I guess I'm gonna keep kind of cruising here and once I find some activity, I think the further in I get this way, I'm gonna find uh, you know, more, more deer sign. That's typically the way it was on this property. I'll go check that out and show you what I find. I was just talking to you guys about needing the boots. I was at, literally standing right here. I shut the camera off looking for a tick I thought I had crawling on my leg. They are out in full force. I think I see an old chewed up antler over here. I need to try to pick my way over there. There's a little hump kind of in this wet stuff and I'm the closer I get the more positive I am that it's an antler. Too bad it looks like an old one. At least a year or two old. Shoot. Well, this sucker's really chewed up. Awesome though. Did not get skunked. I'm bummed that this thing's chewed up. This wasn't a bad looking antler. I mean, it's no biggie, but you know, at least a two year old deer. I don't know how long this thing's been laying here. I should look around, maybe I'll find the other half all chewed up. Kind of looks like it had a kicker or something off that G2 as well at some point. Pretty rough shape now. I did not bring a backpack, but uh, I'll probably drag this one out of here. Cool, well that didn't take long. I haven't been looking very long, but I think what I'm gonna do is look around on these little high spots then right around here and see if I can find maybe the other half. It's, even if it was here, it could have been completely chewed up by now. This guy's not far from it. Look, you can see the water in here, what I was saying. It's just wet, wet, wet. And it stays pretty darn wet most of the year. I mean, this stuff, it might dry out a little bit, but not a whole lot, quite swampy. But different than the stuff I've been been uh, hunting lately, but cool nonetheless, a different type of terrain. I enjoy walking around in here. And now I especially enjoy walking around in here after finding this. That is not a bad antler. Sweet. Well, it's good to be on the board. I'm gonna keep looking here. I'll, uh, I'll show you what I find. I just, it was a pure luck that I saw that antler sitting there. I happened to stop, I was looking for ticks. I'd already kind of scanned around me and Sure enough, I ended up just seeing it by pure luck. Well guys, I was just uh, gonna talk to you a little bit about going around in circles. I've noticed that I'm not really, not going around in circles, but I'm kind of straying off my path here. I had intended to go directly north and I looked at my compass going around some of these water holes and bogs and trying not to go right through the stuff. And I was going pretty much west and the sun, you know, the sun kind of tipped me off. But I did get turned back straight and started heading back north and I see another uh, something over here that I don't like to find again. That's a dead head. I haven't walked over to it yet so I don't know what it looks like. But you can see this stuff here is really, really thick and gnarly. Typically I say nasty all the time when I'm talking about this stuff. I don't mean to say it so much but it's a good way to describe this. But uh, here's a dead buck on the ground. I could see these antlers sticking up. This guy looks like, you know, maybe last fall. I'm not sure. He look, he does look like he's not older than than this past year, though. So that's a bummer. This isn't, again, something you like to find. Another little guy, though. Another year and a half. I seems like that's the size I've been finding. I guess it's not the worst. I, on a selfish note, if I was finding him, I'd like to find a great big old head. But, but. Uh, you know, I, I don't know. I guess finding these little guys is is uh, okay too. It's at least it's found. But uh, I'm gonna take him out of here. I don't know if, how stinky he's gonna be. He looks like he's been chewed up pretty good. Yeah, a little fork corn five pointer. I don't know if that one's long enough. Well, that's about as good as I can do with getting this guy out of here. 
feel like I'm on I'm the predator or something on that movie from the 80s uh, carrying around like a spine and a bunch of junk I'm not not really digging that but I'll keep this thing away from me I don't want to get it up against me yeah I'll take him out of here and and uh, keep collecting here <laughs> I'm gonna keep on moving look at this boar's nest this is a mess in here I was hoping to kind of try to get through this but I think I'm gonna have to go around the other thing I know is my feet are already wet so much for these Merrill hiking boots being waterproof. I kind of knew they weren't real great anyways uh, as far as waterproofing, but they're wet now and I haven't even gotten in very deep. Yeah, this is some of the stuff I was hoping to get into is this really, really thick, thick stuff. Um, just seems like it's a little too thick for me to navigate at the moment, especially carrying this dead head around thing. With that extra stuff on it, it's getting a little bit heavy, even though it doesn't have much for antlers. So, I don't know, I might try to find a spot to drop it where I can get back to, and then uh, it'd make it a little easier for me to navigate in here. But I'm still working that that uh, plant, old plantation. Seems to look pretty good too. I'm gonna kind of skirt around the edge a bit and, and probably work this over. It seems to be some of the best stuff on the property. There is a little more, there are some other places too where it's, there are white pine thickets along some of the swamp and uh, that could be good as well. I might actually work those a little bit too. Probably not gonna spend a ton of time on here today. Just, uh, you know, I just don't have a lot of time to, to spare today. But it's been productive already. Finding that old shed and that deadhead are pretty cool. I'm gonna keep, keep looking. Based on where I found that shed and the deadhead, kind of trying to still work around the, this plantation area. As you can see, it's uh, quite a daunting task, just with the amount of water that's in here and the furrows and, and bogs and stuff like that. There's also a ton of dead wood on the ground, which makes it difficult. A lot of stuff looks like antlers or covers them up. I don't even know, you know how many would be in here, if any, but it sure looks like a likely location. I feel like, and, and I know this and everybody else does, I think, but you know, you'd, it'd be difficult to cover much of this in a day. Man, I know one thing. My delts and traps are gonna be absolutely killing tomorrow. I've been holding this deadhead out away from me like this because it stinks so bad. I couldn't find a place to put it in there either where I was gonna come back to or where I could even find it. I never really got a good spot. and I didn't really trust my phone GPS to work that well since I didn't really have any service. So I thought, well, I'll just keep carrying it, but it gets old carrying it around like this. My shoulder's just burning. But uh, it's worth it. I'll, uh, I'll take it back and, and uh, set it down and let it weather a little bit. I'm not going to really do anything with it right away. But then I'll probably put it somewhere with the rest of my sheds. Kind of fun. I like collecting the stuff and just hanging on to them and looking at them. And it's kind of neat to be able to do that. A lot of times I'll mark the year I found them too on the base or something somewhere on the pedicle. Yeah, I'm kind of working my way around the property back towards the truck now. It'll take me a little while it's still quite soft but i am on a trail now so it's easier to easier walking that's for sure if i find something i'll bring it to you otherwise i'll catch you guys back at the truck and wrap this up i don't know if you can hear it well but that's a sure sign of spring and warm days frogs are croaking like crazy here i like hearing that Well guys, made it back to the truck. Didn't find anything additional, but I did, as I showed you and you saw, I did find these two things here, that dead head and that old antler. So it wasn't a, a complete loss. It was actually a pretty good walk today and good success in a short amount of time. That said, I wanna thank you guys for joining me. Thanks to all the new subscribers and returning viewers. If you're new to the channel, you know, please subscribe. I got a lot more good stuff coming up. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Take care and I'll catch you guys soon.